of Greek independence, the anniversary of, the Greek, of Greek independence, is because uh, it's the day, it's a religious holiday, the Annunciation of Virgin Mary, uh, uh, Evangelismos is Theotoku, uh, when Mary was, uh, Virgin Mary was given the good news of um, uh, going, of uh, bearing the, uh, Jesus Christ, and there is a parallel there between the birth of Jesus and the birth of the Greek nation, the rebirth of the Greek nation. And the, this um, has been very important in a way, subsequently, in the way uh, people felt, and even at the time, there was a, a desire to make it coincide with that date. From the outbreak of the revolution, the different chieftains used various flags and banners to lead their men in battle. A common motif prevailed, the cross in different sizes, shapes and colors, serving as a reminder of the Greeks' common faith and as an invocation of divine intervention for the fulfillment of their goals. In 1822, however, the newly formed Greek parliament adopted the official flag of the country. Nine horizontal stripes, five blue and four white, with a white cross over a blue background on the upper left corner. The blue and white lines symbolized the ever-present motif in Greek life, the wavy sea. The cross was the symbol of Christianity. This was the ultimate recognition by the Greek state of the importance of their faith to the outcome of the fight. Eight years of bitter and bloody battles followed. Eight years that produced a new pantheon of heroes who would eventually take their place in Greek legend alongside the likes of Hercules, Achilles and Ulysses. They were chieftains of the mountain-based freedom fighters, the Armatoli Kekleftes, like Kolokotronis, Andruchos and Karaiskakis. They were noblemen like the Ypsilanti brothers, Alexandros and Dimitrios, who abandoned their high government offices in Russia to go and fight for the homeland. They were merchants like Canaris and Miaulis, who turned their ships over to the revolution, becoming inspirational naval leaders. They were anonymous heroes, like the women of Suli, who chose death before dishonor. They held their children tightly and jumped off the cliffs of Zalongo after their men had been killed in battle. They were clergymen, like the Patriarch of Constantinople, Gregorius V, who was murdered by the Turks as a punishment and warning for the Greeks who wanted to join the fight. or like the priest Papa Flesses, who served as a minister in the revolutionary Greek government and eventually gave his life in the trenches, fighting for the freedom of his country. And they were the Philelines, friends of Greece, who came from faraway lands to join in the fight for Greek independence. The revolt in Greece really captured the imagination of people throughout the world, both in Western Europe and uh, in the United States. Um, uh, people, you have to remember at that time in the uh, early uh, 19th century, in the uh, 1800s, uh, a classical education was really quite common for uh, individuals who even just uh, went to uh, high school. And so people were familiar with the ancient Greeks. And then suddenly, in uh, the, their newspapers, uh, they began to read about uh, the ancestors of these glorious ancient Greeks that they had heard so much about in school, uh, fighting for their freedom and trying to create a new, uh, new Greece, uh, a new Greek state. And immediately to their mind, uh, it reminded them of uh, Pericles and uh, the, the um, ideals of, of uh, ancient uh, Hellas. Uh, and this was very romantic and very exciting and really fired the imagination of a lot of people. And uh, one of the interesting things about the revolution, uh, the, the revolt, uh, uh, was that uh, people from uh, all over Europe volunteered and came to Greece to fight. The most famous Philhellene was perhaps Baron George Gordon Noel Byron, 
An English poet and satirist, he first visited Greece in 1809 and instantly fell in love with the land that inspired his Grecian poems. After the outbreak of the revolution, he returned to Greece in 1824 and worked with its political leaders to unify the divergent Greek forces. He unfortunately contracted a fever and died in Mesolonghi the same year. Till the time of his death, Byron was held in such great respect by everybody in Greece that the revolutionary government had even invited him to become governor general of the country. Byron's involvement in the Greek independence war helped awaken the European public opinion in favor of the fighting Greeks, who mourned sincerely the loss of a true friend of their nation. The mountains look on Marathon, and Marathon looks on the sea, and musing there an hour alone, I dreamed that Greece might still be free, for standing on the Persian's grave, I could not deem myself a slave. In the history and historical experience of practically every modern nation, there are usually two or three very central events in the history of that people which help symbolize their unity and their distinctive character from all other peoples and which reflects the most important events as they understand them in their history. In the history of the modern Greeks, there are two such dates which we celebrate annually and which are celebrated by Greeks all over the world no matter whether they're Greeks in the diaspora of Australia or of South Africa or of Europe or Greeks in Greece proper and these two days are the celebration of Greek Easter the day of the resurrection of Christ and the second is of course the celebration of the onset or the outbreak of the Greek Revolution on March 25th in 1821 when a massive struggle was launched that finally ended successfully in the establishment of an independent Greece made up of Greeks who were independent politically and who held the political fate of their future in their own hands. The Greek state that emerged from the war of 1821 declared March 25th a national holiday. Celebrations commemorating Greek Independence Day are held in every city and village of Greece, but also in every corner of this world where Greeks are to be found. Each year at March 25th, uh, we will find that our church communities bring out the children, the Greek school teachers, the priests, the uh, community in general will have a particular observance and celebration. This is mandated by our archdiocese, uh, which is after all the, the, the source of our unity here in this country, the expression of our unity. and. One will observe that in the church halls and in the church itself, along with the celebration of the Feast of the Annunciation, uh, a number of uh, ethnic observances will be, will be held as well. Greek costumes, Greek dancing, uh, there's often a meal, uh, the recitation of poetry, the reading of some, uh, uh, some statements, if you will, about the meaning of Greek independence and of March 25th as a religious and an ethnic holiday. Step aside, rock, so I can pass. The valiant wave demands angrily from the rock at the seashore. Step off my chest, which was dead and cold, since the dark north wind nestled inside of it. My arms are not 